Sports and update us on some recent cases that they have taken on. But a lot of eyes still down in Florida as the search for Brian Laundry does continue. And we do want to bring in uh, Fox's Charles Watson as uh, we, of course, want to get the latest information. So, Charles, uh, what do we know? Laundry family still hiding out inside of their house. Uh, well, what, what we know so far, the latest detail is this Florida hiker who says he has no doubt in his mind that he saw and spoke to Brian Laundry along the Appalachian Trail over the weekend. Uh, the hiker has been identified as Dennis Davis, and he says the encounter happened early Saturday morning near the Tennessee North Carolina border. Uh, Davis says that uh, Brian was a the Brian lookalike rather was apparently in a white truck that resembled a Ford F-150. He said this person flagged him down, flashed their, their lights at him. And when he stopped, uh, the gentleman seemed dazed and confused before he started rambling on about uh, a fight with his girlfriend and asking for direct directions to get to California using exclusively uh, back roads. Now, uh, just a short time ago, the Haywood County 911 dispatch released an audio call of that gentleman calling 911. He says he, he didn't really uh, realize who he was speaking speaking to or who he may have been speaking to at the time until the man uh, pulled away and he said maybe that may be Brian Laundry. So he pulled over and pulled out his phone and looked up some photos of Brian and he says that was 100 percent Brian Laundry. He called police, told them uh, exactly what I just explained to you. And the Haywood County Sheriff's Office tells us uh, that they sent a few deputies out to the Appalachian Trail to sort of check things out. They said they encountered a few cars out there and ran a few ta a few tags and pulled over at least one person, but they didn't find anything of importance. Uh, they've been getting a lot of calls uh, in the last few days about Brian Laundrie uh, sightings, but that gentleman, Dennis Davis, uh, police tell us was the most detailed call so far. And there's, of course, been a lot of uh, these small little details that have been unfolding. Right now, I want to ask uh, Charles, where are they actively looking for Brian? Because a lot of people remember they were making their way through the uh, heavy, thick area of the Carlton Reserve. Do we still have uh, people out searching that area today? Yeah, actually, we, we have seen video of uh, search teams out in, in, in the Carlton Reserve. Uh, the last we, we heard from uh, local, law, uh, local law enforcement out here in Northport is that those searches have been scaled down. As far as the Appalachian uh, Trail and other areas where folks have reported sightings of Brian, that's unclear right now because the FBI is just really tight-lipped about where their search efforts have led them. We've reached out to them, and you know their response has consistently been... Uh, uh, um, that re we should refer to their public comments on their Twitter page. So right now, the FBI and the local uh, police here in Northport are keeping quiet about their search efforts. But again, we have seen them out in the Carlton Reserve at least today uh, searching in some swampy area. And lastly, Charles, uh, we just saw a police uh, cruiser drive by the laundry home that you're standing in front of. Uh, we have seen, of course, a lot of action from protesters. What is it like out there uh, this morning, this afternoon? Oh, well, right now it's fairly quiet. We probably have like a couple of protesters who uh, are still around right now. But this morning there were a few more out here with their bullhorns. They've been out here on a daily basis, really every morning, shouting messages at the laundry family home, uh, you know, trying to get them to the parents inside, you know, asking them if, you know, if they're Christians to repent for their sins, asking where is Brian and calling for, in their words, justice for Gabby Petito. Uh, now, now, the laundry parents, they've really been held up inside of their homes for days. But uh, just a short while ago, uh, we saw a U.S. postal uh, worker come and drop some mail off at the house. And we got a brief sighting of Chris Laundry come out into the screen porch area and uh, pick up their mail. But that is uh, as, as much as we've seen them in the last couple of days. For the most part, they've been inside their homes. We, we have no idea what their mental state is right now. But outside is uh, quite the sight to see as people drive up and down this street all day long, snapping pictures and taking videos of this home. And again, shouting those messages uh, to the Laundry family uh, to find justice for Gabby Petito. 
Yeah, and of course, uh, as we've mentioned, we're keeping an eye on all the latest happening outside of the home, but also with all these searches taking place as the search for Brian continues. Charles Watson, thank you again for joining us here on Live Now from Fox, providing us with the latest updates in Northport, Florida. You bet.